Hello everybody, welcome to your first Adobe Audition tutorial. And in this video I will be speaking about some things you need to set up and some other stuff that you should do before you start actually using the program. Now the first thing is your default inputs and outputs for audio. So if you go down here in the corner, you can right click this and click playback devices. And here is where you'll see under playback tab what is playing back. And I I'm using headphones right here so this is my default so if you're using a set of speakers or something you will need to select those and then click set default now for recording this is how you record into audition and I am also using a microphone so those are all good now from here after this you will want to under the edit tab click preferences and audio channel mapping now if you see that when you're listening back or something that uh your left is on your right side and your right is on your left side you can switch these because if you click this little arrow I can say the this side should be the left because the microphone I'm using has two inputs so if I switch this it'll switch which headphone plug it goes into in my ears <laughs> and here's for my speakers right here and then you can also go to audio hardware now the default input is microphone H1 because this is what I'm using to record my stuff in the future. Default output, I have it as speakers, I'm going to set this to headphones. This is what I'm using to listen back. Now latency, that is basically a delay from how long when you record to when it goes into your system. If, there's, if it's higher, it's better performance, but lower is faster. So uh, 200 is considered like safe for everything. So that should be good. Sampling rate, I'll be getting into that in the future. For now, let's just leave that at 44,100. Now, after here, you can see this is the default setup. And if you ever need to change this, it's under Window, Workspace, and I am under Default. If you screw something up, such as X out of this, and this, and this, and you're just, oh no, how do I go back to the original? You click Window, Workspace, Reset Default. Yes. Now let's start by opening a project by File, New, Audio File. And we're going to name this First Audio File. Very creative, I know. Now sampling rate, I'm going to explain this and I'll also be explaining the bit depth. And I actually drew these highly professional photos to explain this. So the sampling rate, this is basically how accurate the curve is to a natural voice, which is this is uh, represented by a sine wave as it is called and it looks like this right here so if you have a high sampling rate it replicates the sine wave as close as possible but not perfect because you can see if we zoom up we can still see that it's almost like staircases so if you have a low sampling rate it's going to be very blocky as it is here and if you have a higher sampling rate it'll look less blocky but if you have a really high sampling rate it'll be nice and smooth almost like a natural voice you can't have it too high because it'll be too high of a file size and there there will be a point where you can't even notice the difference so I'm going to go with 44.1 for this and bit depth this is let me show you my other picture what the bit depth does is describe how many possibilities of sounds there are for example if we have a one bit sound there's two options either on or off so we can only have above the bar and below the bar. But if we have a two-bit word here, we have a, wide, a wider range of possibilities. If you have a higher bit, it's more like a real voice rather than on or off. It can be on, 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 off, off, on, off, off. And these are just used to describe different possibilities. So if we have a 16-bit bit word, that means there's 16, what you could say, digits, within the word. So like 1, 0, 1, 1, blah, 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 16 of them. With this, it allows 65,535 different possibilities. So if you have a 32-bit, it allows up to 2 billion, 100 million something. So to put this a different way, the sampling rate is how many samples you take within a second. So if we look at Audition, we have it at 44,100. This means in one second, we will take 44,100 samples and the bit depth is how many possibilities to take from so if it's 8-bit that means the first sample may be um, 
this sound and then the second sample will be something else and there's 255 possibilities then it just arranges those 255 possibilities to match the given sound as close as possible so if I'm recording in 8-bit it's not going to be as realistic as recording as 16-bit which has 65,535 possibilities so a higher sampling rate is taking more sounds in a second and a higher bit depth is having more possible sounds within that second. But the thing you gotta worry about is the file size. So for this I'm going to use 44,132 bit depth. Now this is comes up and in the next video I will actually be teaching you more about recording and explaining some sweet stuff so I will see you then. Thank you for watching and subscribe.